Okay, this computer's been sitting on my desk for the past, like, three years, probably. My mom got this computer a long time ago, and she had it for a while, but then one day the display started getting weird, so then she took it into the shop. But then when she took it in, the display didn't get better, but the keyboard stopped working. So now it's a laptop with a broken monitor and a broken keyboard. The computer inside still works if you plug it into an external monitor and keyboard, but just all the things around it are broken. Lately, I've been wanting to get a PC again so I can play games with my friends, and now that it's winter break, I finally have the chance to fix this thing up. So today's the day that I finally get this thing working again. But if I'm gonna make this thing usable again, I'm gonna have to see if I can get it working at all first. Start it up. When we had this computer, I used to put electrical tape over the little indicator light because it got annoying. But the fact that it's on now is a good sign. Something's happening. The AC power adapter battery may not charge. Continue. Working on updates. This will take a while. I think this might take a while. It's been a couple days since the last clip you saw. I got a haircut. And the computer is done updating and it seems to be working just fine. The mouse works, keyboard works, I can type. But the real problem now is that the computer just has to sit open and it has all these cords everywhere and it takes up a ton of space on the desk. And working on the computer like this does not work that well. So what I'm thinking is if I can remove the motherboard from the computer altogether and I can just attach it to my desk like permanently, I can turn it into like a built-in PC desk thing. Expanding the RAM is one of the best ways to speed up a PC, or at least that's what the internet tells me. So now with this and the other RAM card, it'll have 16 gigs of RAM. Okay, and I know that for people who like build PCs, 16 gigs is not very much, but I think it's enough for what I need it for. How are you supposed to get this thing out? God damn it. You see this RAM card? This is the one that was already in the laptop. And then look at this RAM card. This is the one I just bought to expand the storage. They look like the same thing, right? You see that little slot on this one right here? You see the little slot on this one? They're not quite in the same place. Which means this new RAM that I just bought doesn't work at all. Good thing Amazon does free returns because I've been returning a lot of things. So if I go to my local Best Buy, I could get the RAM that I need Come on, I could get the RAM for $40. That's four zero. Or I could get RAM that's the same size and speed from Amazon for $13. So I think I'm gonna have to build it for now and then I'm gonna have to take it back apart to put the RAM in in a couple days because it's like a quarter of the price for literally the exact same thing. Mark my words, this laptop is getting finished today. If I'm gonna get this done, there's a couple things I'm gonna have to do today. So at this point, the computer is totally ready. I just need to figure out what to do for the body. I wanna do something that'll make it stand up vertically like this, but I don't really know how I'm gonna accomplish that. But I'm hoping if I just go to the store and look, I'll figure it out there. Okay, hear me out. Lucas, why'd you walk in with this giant sheet of particle board stuff? And it's perfect for a couple reasons. I realized that if I can just pinch the rest of the computer in between two sheets of wood, the wood can also kind of act as the legs so it can stand on its own. And this wood works in particular because it has all these little holes on it and I don't have a drill. So if I can just cut this board into two pieces that are generally the right size, I can just screw them together with these bolts and then it'll just kind of hold itself up with the force. 
and I got this handsaw to cut it with because I'm too cheap to buy power tools. It's not going to be pretty, but it'll work. And I guess if I wanted to, I could hang stuff on it. That could be fun. Start it up. And I've been told that sawing wood in a closed, non-ventilated room is a bad idea, so... It's cold out here. Almost there. It just tips over. I have a quick solution. Okay, I feel like people might be curious about this because if I was watching this video, I would be curious. I guess like restoring or rebuilding this PC costed me a little under $150. And most of that was for the 180 watt cable to charge it. At the start of this week, I didn't really know anything about building PCs at all. I barely even knew how to work Windows. I've been using Macs for like my whole life. But with only a few days and a couple of returned Amazon orders, I turned a broken laptop into a working PC and it costed me like a eighth of what it would cost to buy a new one. And it's just because I did it and I figured it out as I went. And sure, it was kind of a messy process, and I wouldn't exactly consider it the prettiest PC I've ever seen. But the fact that I built it myself, I think is kind of cool. And cheap, which is also good. So if there's a takeaway from this video, if there's something you want to do, you don't have to wait till you have it all figured out. Sometimes it's better to just start doing it and figure it out as you go. Because you can usually do more than you think you can. Okay, I don't know what else to say about that, so I'm going to go play some Minecraft. Have a good day, guys.